say, hey, everybody, it's time now for another Feature Friday. And I know what you're saying. You're like, whoa, wait a minute. What does app points have anything to do with a feature with an application suite? Well, in a way, they really are. And since it's a rather new concept, we probably need to have a good understanding of them. So let's spend a little time talking about app points. So your move from traditional Maximo to Maximo Application Suite requires a one-time conversion to application points. App points are a token-based way of licensing the software, which is a popular approach in the industry these days. App points are not tied to a specific application suite component. This provides flexibility in making any component available for use without needing specific licenses. Specific to the widely used and traditional perpetual license, those can be converted to subscription term licenses. Recall that a perpetual license is one that was purchased once and is owned in perpetuity. This was a large capital expenditure made up front. From there, you made a choice to pay annual maintenance, which entitled you to call support as well as access to any new software releases, patches, or fixes. Instead, you can convert to a subscription term license. This is a license where the software is basically leased for terms of one to three years. Costs are generally spread out evenly throughout each year of the term, as opposed to the perpetual model. App points are based upon concurrent users versus named or authorized, of which were more common in the traditional perpetual model. Named or authorized users can still be defined with app points. You can choose which approach would be to your advantage. One important note, customers can convert to app points without needing to physically move from legacy 7.6 of Maximo to the application suite solution. The reasons might be, you may want access to application suite features like Maximo Mobile that can be run on a 7.6 system. You may have an interest in moving to app points now in order to gain the flexibility of easily using other applications of manage like industry add-ons, scheduler, and the like. Maybe there are some changes needed to your current perpetual licenses, such as adding some or dropping some, that can be optimized by moving to app points. Let's get into some more details and camp on this very busy slide for just a moment. The app point model is organized by concurrent user types and installations. Moving right to left, you can see self-service users do not consume app points. The familiar applications that fit in this category are listed in the blue box, such as submitting service requests. Limited concurrent users consume five app points when they log into the system. When they log out, they return the five app points to the pool. Access to three modules of Manage, Mobile, and Monitor require only the limited user. Base concurrent users consume 10 points when this, with the same login and log out logic. Base users have all the privileges of limited users, plus additional components of manage, health, and safety. Premium concurrent users consume 15 app points. Premium users have access to everything in the Maximo application suite. This includes all the privileges of both base and limited users, plus manage industry solutions and add-ons, predict health, and predict with utilities and of course visual inspection. Also note that the install requirements for specific applications when they're deployed. For example, if you deploy Maximo Visual Inspection, it will require 45 app points to be reserved and at least one premium concurrent user. The app points for installs are reserved the moment the application is deployed. So if you're not using a specific application or connector, they won't consume any install points. There's just a few other small, fine points to make here. App points are only required for production environments. Note that the former Express user is no longer available. This may have a cost impact to you. Note also that mobile is included beginning with the limited user level. No additional licensing is needed for the mobile solution. Now let us confuse you just a little bit more by adding that if your app points are based upon named or authorized users, they take fewer app points from the pool as those users log in and log out. Whether concurrent or named authorized users, 
they have access to the various application suite components based upon their level, whether it's premium, base, or limited. Okay, so what does all this practically look like? A single pool of app points is leveraged across concurrent users, application installs, and the administrators. App points are consumed in the following ways. When a user is created, they are defined as a user type, limited, based, or premium, like we talked about. Based on that user type, when they log in, they will pull app points from the pool and return those app points when they log out. Certain installed applications, or deployed applications, we should say, have an install requirement of fixed app points. They are reserved when that application is actually deployed. Not all applications must be deployed at once. When deploying an application that requires app points, those app points are pulled from the pool and reserved for as long as that application is deployed. Administrators are defined as either base or premium. A base admin users require 10 app points to be reserved, and typically they have access-specific application admin rights. Premium admin users require 15 app points to be reserved, and they have admin rights across the entire environment. These points are reserved to ensure that admins are always able to log in. One note, Application Suite now comes with a license key server which actively monitors and reports on the number of users on the system. It can be configured to alert new users that there are no more app points available and still let them log on, or actually prevent them from logging in if the pool is depleted. Okay, so hopefully you're having a good time so far. Uh, just a couple of other points to uh, make sure you understand. So when you provision a new user at the application suite level, um, by default, they come in with a limited entitlement. And of course, you can change that at that point in time or sometime in the future when they need perhaps more or even less access. Once a user has been provisioned at the application suite level, as far as accessing the manage modules and applications, you still do that by way of security groups down in manage, just like you do, used to do in Maximo. Manage and application suites synchronize with each other by way of a cron task in order to keep the user entitlement straight between the two. And of course, I think we said this before, you will need to have at least one premium user for the overall application suite admin. So as our excitement continues here, you may ask yourself, how do we make this conversion? What does this process look like? Well, the very first step is to map from your current situation with perpetual licenses uh, to app points. Um, you need to look and see maybe there are some applications you're no longer using. Maybe you want to take advantage of some of the additional applications like mobile that we mentioned. Maybe you want to move from concurrent or the other way around from authorized to named over to concurrent. That mixture makes a big difference. Ultimately, you're going to arrive at a total of application points that you need to support your new environment. There are calculators available to help you make this conversion. Of course, your next step is to determine pricing, and there's going to be more on the next slide on that. You also want to determine how long your subscription period is going to be. Generally, it's between one and three years. Of course, there's an agreement to sign that'll spell out all the details. And at that point, you will now have the entitlements to the application suite uh, product line, even if you're still on app on 7.6. Okay, here's a few points on pricing. So knowing the price that you last paid on your support contracts is very critical. This is where you're going to start your negotiation. You may be able to negotiate a lower uplift, but just to manage expectations, it may be a bit of a challenge. With the subscription term licenses, there is going to be an upgrade uh, uplift of about 35%. And of course, the single year pricing is going to be subject to about 3 to 5% annual escalation. Perpetual licenses, there is a cost to trade up your, professional, your perpetual licenses. Um, that'll be in the first year. And then the subsequent years have lower percentage uh, based upon what your last price paid was. 
So our experience has been that IBM is more willing to negotiate the number of app points and app point unit prices versus the uplifts of your last price paid. Also, for example, the elimination of express users can be a costly change depending on how many of those you rely upon now. So just a few more tidbits of information to compare what you currently have or do with the new stuff that Application Suite brings. So on the left-hand side, we talk about provisioning new users in 7.6. Over an Application Suite, like we've mentioned before, you provision your new users at the Application Suite level, and then you use security groups down in Manage to provide those people access to the modules and apps that they need. The point for this slide is the very last sentence. If there are any entitlement issues between Manage and Application Suite, you will see flags and messages that occur over on the Application Suite that the administrators need to address. So one more tidbit is to talk a little bit about how we used to use the license usage monitor, the LUM, in Maxim 07.6 to maintain our licenses. The LUM is no more. As we mentioned, the users and the app points are all managed at the application suite level. There are two services there. One is the suite licensing service and the other is the behavior analytics service that monitor the usage of the application suite system by users. It will provide any visualizations uh, or flagging if there are issues or entitlement problems between the two. The application suite system can be set to either allow or not allow users to log in if the app point pool is depleted. However, this setting will only stay temporarily. It cannot be permanently set to allow users to exceed the app pool. Okay, so just a couple more things. Give you some views into the administrative side of this before I let you go and enjoy your weekend. So when you log in as MAS admin, yes, that's right, MAS admin, you are presented with a number of tiles here. The rows across the top, this is where an admin sees the catalog of components that can be deployed and activated with an application suite. Further, these tiles show what is deployed, the environment configuration, and how the workspaces are defined as well. The bottom row is where the users are provisioned and where the app point consumption is displayed. So as we said earlier, you create users at the application suite level now. Then you pick if they're concurrent or named or authorized. Then you choose which application level of access that they get, whether it's limited, base, or premium. And then, if they're an administrator, what level of administrator they would be. As a side note, when the application suite user IDs are created, they are stored in application suite in a MongoDB instance hosted within application suite. These users can be of three types. Maybe they're local users, they're managed and authenticated fully in Maximo application suite. Maybe they're LDAP users that are created and managed by application suite with a user ID that exactly matches the corresponding LDAP user ID. In this case, user authentication is handled by the LDAP or SAML server. The users might be synchronized LDAP SAML users as well. They may be managed from the LDAP server that is used for synchronization. All synchronized users are created read-only in the Maximo application suite in this case. So, riveting subject matter. That was a not-so-quick view into uh, app points. So, in the link below, you'll see an article that we wrote about converting um, uh, app points while you're still at 7.6. So, take a look at that and uh, see if that'll help you out as well. Make sure you give us a contact if you have further questions. We're certainly helping lots of customers calculate their current situation and seeing what application points are going to look like uh, in, the, in the future. So uh, enjoy your weekend, and uh, thanks for your time. Thank you.